Hello everyone. Today we are going to find collapse load in a propped cantilever beam when it is subjected to a point load in the center. We are going to find the collapse load in two methods using static method and using kinematic method. First let us use the static method. This is the bending moment diagram for a propped cantilever beam when it is subjected to a central point load. In this bending moment diagram, there are two parts. This is the end moment diagram. Using the end moment in the point A, we have to make this diagram. This is the free moment diagram. Using the load, we have to make this diagram. We have to assume that the beam is simply supported. We know that in the simply supported beam, if the point load is acting in the center, the formula for the bending moment is WL upon 4. When we combine the end moment diagram and the free moment diagram, we will get the bending moment diagram. During the collapse in the fixed end and under the point load, plastic moment will be developed. Now we have to find this height at the distance of L. The height is MB. So for L, the height is MB. But we need the height at the distance of L upon 2. So we have to multiply L upon 2 with the MB upon L. We can eliminate L. Finally, we are getting this height which is equal to MB upon 2. The total height MB plus MB upon 2 should be equal to WCL upon 4. Here we can take LCM. We will get this 2MB plus MB we will get 3MB, 2 twos are 4, we can take 2 and L on the right side. Finally, for the collapse load, we are getting 6MB upon L. Also, the formula for the plastic movement is WCL upon 6. Now, let us use kinematic method. Let us assume that Due to the point load, there is virtual displacement delta. Let us keep this angle as theta 1 and this angle as theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Now let us take the left triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon L upon 2. We can take L upon 2 inversely and then multiply. Finally, for tan theta 1, we will get 2 delta upon L. The value of tan theta 1 will be very small. So, tan theta 1 will be approximately equal to theta 1. So, theta 1 is equal to 2 delta upon L. Let us make an expression for delta. For that, we have to take 2 upon L on the other side. When we do that, we will get delta which is equal to theta 1 L upon 2. Due to the symmetrical nature of this triangle, theta 1 will be equal to theta 2. In this propped cantilever beam, there are two plastic hinges. In the fixed support, there is a plastic hinge and under the load, there is a plastic hinge. In the simply supported end, there will be no plastic hinge. So, totally there are two plastic hinges. Now, let us find the internal work done. We know that in the fixed end, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MP with this angle, so MB into theta 1, also we have a plastic hinge under the load. Here also 
we have to multiply mb with this angle so mb into theta 1 plus theta 2 we have to add both of these we know that theta 1 is equal to theta 2 so for theta 2 we can apply theta 1 after adding these we are getting 3 mb theta 1 now let us find the external work done for that we have to multiply the load with the displacement delta for delta we can apply theta 1 l upon 2 the internal work done and the external work done should be same so let us equate both of these theta 1 will be eliminated we can take l upon 2 on the right side 2 into 3 we will get 6 finally for a wc we are getting 6 mb upon l also we can make an expression for mb which is equal to wc l upon 6 now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video